Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be testing out the new CoverGirl products, especially this new Healthy Elixir foundation. A lot of you guys have requested that I test it out, so I finally found it at CVS. I'm like, I gotta go to a couple of drugstores to find this. It just released. And I also have, obviously, a couple of different new all CoverGirl products to test out in this video, so I'm super excited to share with you all. Before we get started, though, be sure and subscribe to my channel. So... That's about it. And without further ado, we have a lot of products to test out. So girl, let's just go ahead and jump right in. All right, it's me close up and personal. And first I'm gonna clip this Haya out of the spice. Look at this shirt, it's like choking me now. The hair away. Hair gets on my nerves so bad when I try to do makeup. Like it's my pet peeve. I can't stand it in my face whenever I'm trying to do makeup. So for those of you who don't know, I've already primed my skin. So my skin is ready to go. I have a little bump right here because I picked at it. I bought a couple of different shades. 742, 725, and 720. 720 maybe? Mm, it's a little pink. I kind of want to try... 742. I don't know what shade to try. This is a lightweight, full coverage makeup formula that hydrates the skin and it has SPF 20 in it, vitamins and antioxidants, and it's oil free. So this has a lot to live up to. You get, I'm assuming one fluid ounce of this, one fluid ounce, so you get your average size. I really like the bottle. I like the pump. I think it's really pretty and sleek as well. Yeah, this is probably gonna be my shade. I'm gonna use shade 742, medium beige. This feels kind of thick and creamy. It's not that liquidy. My lips are burning so bad because before I started, I put like a lip plumper gloss on. <laughs> now I'm like, why did I do that? I'm gonna be using my Y6 brush from Morphe. My Y6 brush from Morphe. <laughs> I use it in every video just about, so you guys already know the drill with this. And we're gonna go ahead and start blending this out. shade oh this smells pretty good it doesn't have a strong smell to it but this foundation does have a faint smell to it and it does smell pretty darn good um it's blending out really easy and i also think it would blend out nice with a beauty blender as well if you are a beauty blender lover as most of you guys know, I will finish off this review of this foundation by typing it out in the description box how it wore. I'm going to do a date night tonight with Ty probably or else I might see a movie with everybody and we'll go see the movie Snatched. So either way, I'll have the foundation on for a long time. As far as like right now, the foundation is looking really pretty on my skin. You don't have to blend it out quickly because it seems to not be drying fast on my skin. It's just blending out so easy. I don't think it's that heavy but I also don't think it's that lightweight of a foundation it feels really if you can see like sticky and damp on my skin oh we got to get that nose right there but like right off the bat I think it looks really pretty on my skin and I don't I think it's buildable but not crazy full coverage where it's like cake but it definitely has some coverage to it as you can see it's not like a thin foundation um you can barely see my freckles peering through especially you can't even see them coming through right here so first impressions girl i'm liking it honey that looks really pretty i'm impressed so far hmm. also if you've tried this at home let me know in the comment section an important part in trying out a foundation in my opinion is finding out how products work with the foundation because we like to apply our highlight and all that jazz so i have the new outlast all day concealer i think i'm gonna use i don't know what shade i'm gonna use but i'm gonna go ahead and try these out with it as well eee, doesn't want to open oh we got it open. This applicator is really hard on the product, so I don't know how I'm going to love that on my under eye. Let's see. I'm going to be using light pill. I'm actually just going to apply it with my finger because I don't like how hard that applicator is. It feels really soft and whipped. Let's see what kind of coverage we can get out of this stuff. I'm going to take a G37 and I'm just going to tap out this product. I am not living for this concealer right off the bat because I can see my darkness just peering right through. It feels pretty thin. Hmm. I mean, it's not too, too shabby, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. It just feels kind of greasy and kind of thin right off the bat, so... I might be sticking with my Maybelline Age Rewind for my drugstore concealer. We'll see. 
I think the most coverage we're getting there is coming from the foundation. I don't hate the concealer, but I'm not like living for it because I like a lot of coverage out of my concealer. However, I don't think it's creasing too bad, so that's nice. I'm gonna take this little sponge and add some setting powder to make sure we lock in everything so we can get a true test of how it wears. I'm just gonna take an E41 big old powder brush and I'm just gonna start buffing away all the excess powder so we can move on with the little impressions toot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it looks too shabby. I don't hate the concealer. It's just like a lot of darkness peering through and I feel like it was lightweight and greasy, which is two things I don't stand for. So let's just move on. I'm gonna start stop dwelling on it. So next I got this True Blend Baked Bronzer. This one is in shade 200 and we're gonna try it out. I've never tried out one of their baked products before, so here we go. With a Wi-Fi brush, I'm just gonna tap some on here, get the excess off. What? Okay. So she's pigmented, I see. This is pretty. I actually don't have a lot of drugstore bronzers that I'm like obsessed with. So this could be like a new favorite of mine. Huh. I feel like it might be getting a little bit patchy. Let's see what happens. So it actually has a little bit, I don't know if you can tell, of like this golden flake to it. Which I find to be really pretty on the skin. But if you, it looks like it doesn't have much shimmer in it. But it actually does the more I buff it in. I'm seeing a little bit of shimmer peeking through. I wouldn't really contour with this product. This is more of a bronzing up the skin product because of the shimmer in it. I don't think you're gonna get the contour look that you might want out of it. So kind of having a hard time getting it blended. It's just looking a little muddy right here. This side looks nice and soft, but I don't know why this side isn't. Maybe it's my skin, I don't know. But I mean, I don't hate the bronzer. I like it. I might not be obsessed with it, but I like it so far. Let's move. I'm gonna grab an R2 brush and go in with another baked product. This one is in shade 305 and it is a blush. And it's like a pretty berry color. Ooh, a lot came off on my brush. Ooh, very pigmented. Very pigmented. <laughs> hmm, it's pretty, I like the blush. It's really pretty, um, but it's very berry. <laughs> So whenever I get too much blush on, I just go back in with my powder brush and just swizzle that on out, girlfriend, because I don't like a lot of blush. Most of you guys already know that because I tell you these things. Next up, I have the True Blend. It says new on the package. Don't know if it's new. If it's not, it's not. If it is, it is. Whatevs. Anyways, this is number one, I think. This is a cream, like, contour and highlight. Because I don't have a highlight on deck, I'm going to go ahead and use this guy right here. I'm actually just going to dampen this beauty blender a little bit and I'm gonna dab it on into the highlight and then we're gonna see what happens huh. the highlight is pretty but it's very subtle in reality I would probably now see that's pretty it's just subtle reality I might for myself would add a little more of a powder highlight right on top but yeah, if you're not sure like how to use cream products, you can go with a damp beauty blender or you can dampen it with the setting spray of your choice and just kind of use it like that. It's really pretty though. Hmm. So if you would like to try out something a little natural, a little soft from the drugstore, but very pretty. And because this is cream and not powdery, I find it doesn't pick up that much texture on the skin. So I think I like this a lot, you know? It probably won't be my everyday product just because I typically go for a blinding highlight, but it's nice. Now I'm gonna add some setting spray to my skin, and then I'm gonna take the side of the beauty blender and pat everything out so we don't look too powdery. Still loving the foundation. I just like the way the overall look looks. Does that make sense? Okay, something else I picked up that's new is the Katie Cat Pearl. There's two of them. I was only able to find one of them from my drugstore, and it's like this cream eyeshadow. I definitely want to use it. I'm like trying to think right now, like, girl, how you want to use this, though? I don't know. Let me think. Why not play with the uh, Nudes palette as well? Oh, this one's brand new. Okay. 
I've had this palette for a long time. Girl, get out of here. So I kind of want to play with the colorful one a little bit. Hmm. That is a really creamy pigmented little booger. So I'm going to start off with this thingy mababa right here. What am I trying to say here? I'm going to start off with this pretty color right here. I'm going to use a Y18 brush. And now I'm going to go into this palette and actually take this brown color right here because we need to deepen up the crease just a little bit. So I'm just going to pop this right on top of the other color. The other color was a little bit light or lighter than I thought for whatever reason. Products are okay. Like these eyeshadows, they're just not that pigmented. I'm not getting like, I mean, I'm sure the shimmers are. Right now I'm using the mattes and like the more I blend them, the more they disappear into my eyes. So I'm not actually that obsessed, but they're not the end of the world. You know, they're not that bad. I'm just not living and breathing for them over here. <sighs> I have all three of them. Maybe I'll just take like a smidge of this darker deep brown color and blend that right into the crease because I really want it to deep up the crease. Now I'm officially going to try this little guy out right here onto my eyelid. This one is in shade Tiger Rose and I'm just going to apply this creamy shadow um, across my eyelid. It feels really nice. It's just super subtle. It's not that sticky either so that's good. So these are pretty, these are a super easy item to use if you just want to be like a one and done and pop this on your eyelid and roll with it. I like that they dry really fast so you're not left with a lot of creasing on the eyelid. Pretty cool product. To enhance my eye look, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is a Sigma E58 brush. And I'm going to pack this right on top of that cream product so it sticks and really enhances the eyeshadow look. I'm going to grab this light shade and I'm going to pop that right there in the inner corner like so. And then you can even take just a little bit of it and add it right onto that brow bone. I'm going to take a R39 brush in the purple shade and I'm actually going to buff this on the outer corner because I want to add some color to my life. These shimmers are so pigmented. I cannot say the same for the mattes. I feel like you have to give them a little bit more work. You just got to finagle them a little more, but they're not bad. Like, I think these palettes are worth the money. It's just, it's going to work at them. But the shimmers are worth it, you know? So I like to keep this on the outer corner, and then right there in the center, I just softly buff back and forth to blend that out. I'm just going to grab, like, a tiny bit of that dark brown color again. And I really want to deepen up that outer V. I'm going to top line with just a little bit of liner and I'm going to like smudge it right in that. All right, now I'm going to try out the Total Tease Mascara. This is a brand new mascara and it has this weird rigid top and then it has this weird pokey bottom. I think the little edge is for your bottom lashes and then the other is to build up the top lashes. So we're going to see what it's got. I will be adding falsies, but first I'm going to build this up and see a little review on it. This little edge, this little end piece, like, is about to touch my eye and it's freaking me out. Hmm, this isn't, I mean, it's kind of like a spiderly lash moment, but this is not a bad mascara. Like, you can actually see my lashes and I have really pitiful lashes. It's pretty good. Not mad at it. So, I think that this is a really pretty mascara. I think you get a crap load of product on the wand. So, like, the mascara builds up the lashes really quickly and leaves them kind of spidery. My lashes kind of grow downward, if you're wondering. But if you like the thicker lashes and the really build up lashes, you'll like this mascara for sure. I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to brush it away. I'm going to take the two brown colors out of this palette and buff them on my lower lash line. And I'm just going to use this MAC Mariah Carey brush to do so. And of course I'm going to go in with a little bit of this purple and the same little buffer brush and I'm just going to add some purple as well and I'm going to connect them right there on the outer corner and just like blow that out just a little bit. All right I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to try the odd end of this mascara like Okay, I had to do it like really close to my mirror, but I actually don't like that end of the mascara at all. It like doesn't do anything for my bottom lashes. So we're just going to flip the brush over and use the thicker edge for the bottom lashes. And I think they look pretty darn good. 
snazz. All right, so they came out with these cool black Katy Perry tubes, and I'm gonna try out this new color. This one is called Beautiful Kitty. It's kind of like a sheer patchy blue, which I'm not living for because you can layer it up. It's like super streaky and patchy, the blue color, so not really obsessing over that. It is gonna be like a bold color. I put the pigment to be as even as possible, so it's not like crazy looking. We're gonna try out the red color for you guys. This color is really pretty, and I had to add a few layers of it. It's still a little bit streaky. It seems to be doing a little bit better than the blue, and this color is called Ready to Pounce. And then we have Apricot, which is definitely the prettiest. It just adds shimmer, it's like, a pretty peachy shimmer color. I don't hate it. I kind of love it. But I'm actually not going to wear it today. I just want to do first impressions and show them to you because it doesn't match my eye look whatsoever. So I'll probably put on a different lippy just because that those are like crazy off. <gasps> All right, guys, I added some big old lashes because you know I love my drama. These are Icon Lashes. I think Jealousy. Yeah, these are Jealousy. I'll have everything linked down below. Oh, this video was good. So far, I am still loving the foundation and the highlight. Girl, it's looking really pretty. I pretty much, there's nothing that I honestly hated, which is great. I haven't had the best run in the world with CoverGirl products, but these newer ones seem to work out fantastic. Well, not fantastic, but you know, pretty darn good. The lipsticks are don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my channel before you link subscribe today. And I will see you all in my next video.